felt in need of a lampshade for a while, and now I have finally decided to make one. While searching for suitable materials, I came across some old PlayStation discs, and here is the rest. First of all, I removed the transparent plastics from each of the cases and saved them for later. Then I separated the two halves with a hobby knife and cut away the top and the bottom edges with scissors. Next, I needed to cut the plastic cases into 1cm strips. To do this, I marked the tops and the bottoms of the cases and scrolled line with a hobby knife. At first, I thought it would be quite easy to cut through the plastic cases with a hot knife, but it proved to be quite a lengthy process, so I resulted in using a modeling jigsaw, which turned out to be much quicker. After this, I ended up with 60 1cm strips. For cleaning the edges of the strips, I used a hobby knife with a blade number 18, followed by scraping with number 11. In order to weld the structure together, I needed a filament, so I cut up the reminder of the cases with scissors. Once I'd done that, I printed myself a template and started cutting up the edges for triangles with a hot knife. Before I started the welding process, I aligned three pieces onto the template to form a triangle. Next, I slid the tip of the soldering iron set at 300 degrees Celsius over all of the joints from both sides. To strengthen the joints, I melted the filament into the grooves made by the soldering iron. In order to add some color to the lampshade, I placed the transparent plastic film from the cases over the triangle and ran the hot knife along the edges whilst pressing down with a card. I needed to do this for 18 out of 20 triangles, however I only had enough transparent plastic film for 12 triangles, so for the remaining 6, I used the transparent bag. Next, I used sharpies in different colors to stain the triangles. For the top of the lampshade, I cut out a circle from the back side of a case and cut it furthermore to fit into the triangle, not forgetting about the hole for the lamp fitting. Next, I welded the two pieces together, adding filament as I went. In order to achieve the 138.19 degree angle of the icosahedron, I stuck the template to the desk and added a piece of wood, positioned so that when the two triangles meet, they would have the correct angle. To make the welding process easier, I melted the filament in five places along the joint whilst pushing two triangles together. This made adding the filament over the joint very easy. Then I just carried on adding the triangles to form the top and the bottom half of the icosahedron. Before joining the halves, I slid the soldering iron tip over all of the joints on the outside to make them stronger. To finish off, I placed the top part onto the bottom and welded them together, adding filament wherever needed. For written instructions, click the link in the description. This project took about 10 hours to finish, which was a little longer than I predicted, but it was worth it. I really like how it turned out, and I love the effect it creates on the walls. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!